Hello and welcome everybody, this is Alan Herdemian, a.k.a. the Fire Puller himself, a.k.a. the Fire Spitter, Fire Smoker, and everything in between, coming to you here live from Vegas, baby, Vegas. It is about 10.42 my time, that is about 1.42 Eastern time, and somewhere in between, well, it's somewhere in between, but we are about to get started with our David Peacock Connor Memorial Break. So uh, this is uh, something I put together last night on Get Fucked Up with the Fire Puller Friday. Uh, I whooped some ass on the pool table and uh, got a message, uh, not, not a message, but a notification uh, from Miss Michelle. And uh, as I mentioned, Michelle had friend requested me uh, recently and uh, because uh, I kind of screen anybody that ever friend requests me, I went to her page and uh, found out the unfortunate news about Mr. Connor. Now, uh... A lot of people in our room have suffered loss, and as I mentioned in this post, and uh, as I've mentioned at other times uh, during similar situations and circumstances, I'm not one that's really uh, big on GoFundMe. Uh, I, I've made a huge rant about GoFundMe. Anything with GoFundMe, I will never contribute to, and the reason being, uh, I live in Vegas, and uh, years back in Vegas, we had the mass shooting. And it was at the casino, and all these people got shot up, and blah, blah, blah. Las Vegas opens up a GoFundMe page. Great. Wonderful. GoFundMe takes a percentage. I mean, at the end of the day, you're talking about so many people losing their lives. If I'm GoFundMe, I get it, man. You want to do the GoFundMe shit, and you want to get paid for what you do, that's great. But on something like that, that's where you as GoFundMe step up to the plate and say, you know what, we're above that shit, we're going to put this together, and we're not going to charge a fee. But they don't. So if they don't do it for a mass shooting that fucking exceeded anything in history, anything in history for that kind of shooting, if they're not going to go above that, then fuck them. I mean, everybody, they, they do it. It's an organized way. It's a trusted way, blah, blah, blah. More power to them. But when it comes to the fire puller, fire puller plays, plays to his own tune, plays by his own rules. So I'm not big on GoFundMe. And you want to know why? Because of what we just did. What we just did as a group, as a family, we took a fucking $400, $500 box. I'd spread it maybe at $700, $650. And we spread it for $1,500. Not only did we spread it for 1500 we snap-filled the motherfucker. Not only did we snap-fill the motherfucker and spread it at 1500 we got extra donations. Not only for me. I mean, the product is me. The $200 in spots that I put in, even I'm taking three spots, that's me. The bonuses that are just being given away for being a part of this, that's me. But you're fucking coming together. Your money. That's you. That's us. That's the family. Try to explain. I'm not here to pry into people's personal lives. I'm going to tell you. I shut down. When I first suffered real loss, I shut down. I closed myself off to the world. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to be with nobody. And you know what I did every fucking day while I felt like that? I went to work. And I sold cars. And I shook hands. And I shook hands. And I shook hands. And I sold cars. And I did my fucking job to make sure... I did everything I could, everything I could to get through it. Yes, I'm feeling, yes, I'm suffering, yes, I'm hurting, whatever it is. But I go through every day to make sure that when I come out, the way you guys perceive me, whether it's on this screen or whether it's shaking your hand at the car lot, selling you some phones at Verizon, didn't fucking matter. No matter what I go through personally, when I come to work, I go to work. When I walk outside, I go outside to be what I want people to see. What I want people to see is one happy motherfucker that no matter what, no matter how many times you get knocked down, you get right back the fuck up. And then eventually, you sleep peacefully. I don't get no sleep. You guys know that for a fact. I've been like this since I was 14 years old. But I want that sleep. Do I want it now? Absolutely not. I got fucking millions of years to live, millions of things to do. But eventually, we all have that peaceful sleep. Now, it's when it's not us, 
that goes for that rest. What happens to everybody around you? What happens to all the shit that you got to go through, all the shit you got to take care of? You got to make this meeting. You got to make that meeting. You got to set up the funeral. You got to do this. You got to do that. And then after it's all said and done, you got a big hole in your fucking checkbook and you're just there. Now, some people have other support systems. They come together. Someone like myself, I didn't have the support system. Why? Because I shut everybody out of my life from the beginning to the end. I was doing dirt in high school. I left New York, cold turkey, just boom, one day. Dropped out of college. From a full ride on an academic scholarship, three years later, I'm dropping out of college. I'm packing my car up overnight, moving everything from my college uh, apartment so I could skip fucking New York, escape the case, beat the case, beat the guys chasing me for the money I had to take from them because I only stole once in my life and it was on my way out. On my way out of the game, I stole from another guy in the game, and I said, you know what? I suffered losses in the game. You will, too. He was my boy. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to survive, and that was the worst thing I could ever do in my life was steal. Since that day, I have made it my point to not steal, to not approve of anybody stealing, no matter what the reason. You got to be able to be above. Be above yourself, and when you need that help, reach out. Sometimes you reach out to a stranger and the stranger comes through. Sometimes you reach out to the family and the family comes through. Sometimes you reach out to everybody and nobody comes through. This is our family. We won't have nobody coming through. We're going to always have somebody coming through. It may not always be me, and it may not be me in this light, but I'll tell you a little more of the story, which is why I did what I did. Okay? Um, 30... Uh, fuck, I might be 39 right now. I'm 38 or... I don't even know. I can't even fucking think. No, I'm 39. March 26. Okay, so I'm 39. 39 years old. Holy shit. I can't even think right now. Because this is, this is the shit that clouds my mind. It brings up memories and it brings up stuff. I mean, we all got our stories of perseverance. We all got our stories of how shit turned out and what we did to make it turn. Me, I put my hand in everything I do. So, 39 years old. I move out here probably uh, for the second time in 2014. Now, in 2014, I come out here because I had left here to move to Pennsylvania to spend the last six months of my mom's timeline. Diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer in 2009, given four, uh, six months to live. I said, well, I'm going to take those six months. And I spent six years not talking to her more than maybe once a year, seeing her once every other year. And I said, I'm going to spend those six months with her. And I moved. I dropped everything. Left a six-figure job selling cars to go fucking make $8.50 an hour off the books. Fucking cooking at some uh, tourist attraction. Okay? I needed the time. I didn't care about the money. I needed the time. So I got the time with my mom. And six months turned into one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. Boom. Six years later. My grandmother passes away. Leaves two of her daughters' property, and leaves my mom money. So what do the daughters do that haven't really talked very much? They used the loss of my grandmother to come together. So the three sisters decided one day, we're all going to Vegas. One of them was already here. One left New York. New York City, high-rise fucking million-dollar woman. Hasn't worked in 30 years, hasn't needed to. Took everything, said, all right, I'm going to live in my grandmother's house, her mother's house. Took over her mother's house. My aunt already had her house. My mom and dad moved out here. Now, we moved out there, me and my brother, and now they want us to move back here. So we moved back here. We come out. And now, we're here. About a year, year and a half goes by. My brother's doing real good. And uh, all of a sudden, at uh, 39 years old, drops dead of a heart attack. Now, he had spent most of the time that he was out here taking care of my mom. Living in, playing poker on the side. That was his source of income. He loved poker tournaments, and he was good. But he let his, his own health, his own fucking depression, his own everything consume him because he was too focused on taking care of my mom. So he passes away, 39 years old. Now, my mom is in fucking three years of dementia at this point. She's been on radiation, chemotherapy, stage four cancer, still, still fighting, still fucking surviving, God damn, that woman was stubborn. 
But you know what? My dad was a fucking idiot. I love my dad. But I've been my dad's father since 25, 26 years old. Horrible with money. Does the same shit that we do. Doesn't have the means to. Has the means to, but he goes outside of his means. I mean, he makes great money on a pension from New York City retirement. Makes more money than, uh, I'd say, 70% of the United States of America. And doesn't have to do anything. But what does he do? He buys all this fucking train shit. uh, Toy trains and Yankee memorabilia. All the Yankee memorabilia that you remember from the old spot, it was my brother's and my dad's. I never spent money on that shit. I didn't care about it. Why? Because I needed to have money just in case. My dad didn't know about that just in case. Horrible credit, can't get a loan, and now my brother passes away. Funeral expenses. Where the fuck are you going to pay for it? How the fuck are you going to pay for it? My mom's still dying. He can't even pay for my brother's funeral. How the fuck's he going to pay for my mom's funeral? So he reaches out. And he uh, reaches out to my aunt. My aunt and him, unfortunately, did not get along. Why? Because he was so fucked up with the money. And as my mom is fading away, mentally, she sees how blatantly fucked up my dad was with the money. I saw it. I I cut my own dad off. I said, I I can't give you no more money, man. You You don't fucking do the right thing. He's bailing out my deadbeat sister and... He's bailing him his fucking whatever he wants out. He reaches out to my aunt. My aunt reluctantly lends him the money to bury my brother. Okay? Then he starts fucking around with the payment plan that he proposed. You know, somebody reaches out to help you. you do the right thing. Don't fuck around with it, as I told him. But he wanted to fuck around with it. He fucks around with it. He pays her back. Gets her back in the, a little bit longer. Well, a lot longer than what he uh, had told her. But gets it back and said and done. Now, six months after my brother's passing, after the burial, after the uh, expenses have been paid back, my mom passes. Now, the night my mom passed, I had a feeling. I was her bubble boy. I was her favorite. Everybody knew it. Everybody knew it. But you know what? She was my favorite. And I was with her in hospice for the last two weeks. I mean, I'm, I'm working... All day, every day for Verizon. And I'm sleeping every single night right after work. Sleeping right next to her side at the hospital bed. The last night, she's mouthing something to me. Trying to say something to me. And I'm like, I knew it right there. It broke me. Shut me down. I left there. I said, my dad says he's going to work it out. Says he's going to somehow magically come up with this $10,000. It costs. To take care of the funeral expenses, the cemetery, and the uh, burial lot that uh, he was supposed to have already paid off with the money they inherited from my grandmother. But he didn't. So, he says he's going to take care of it. Now, he said he's going to take care of it for a couple days. Still not taken care of. Now I'm there, and I see her, and I just said, Today's the day. Like, you just have that feeling sometimes. So, I literally I left the hospital. I go straight to my aunt's house. I said, I got to talk to you. And I, I had to close the deal. And I mean, me and my aunt, whoo, God, since the time my mom was diagnosed with stage four cancer, she was a nurse. And I am a, I don't believe it. I don't see it. I don't fucking care what anybody says. But the doctor says six months. My aunt says six months. They both tell my mom to say her goodbyes. And I flipped shit on the doctor, got kicked out of the hospital that day. And uh, stopped talking to my aunt uh, after we had a very heated exchange at the house later that day. So now I'm tail between my legs saying, you know what? I wouldn't be coming here. You know I wouldn't be coming here unless I had to come here. I know my dad ain't going to be able to do it. I know you don't want to help out with my dad, but do it for me and do it for my mom. And I made out a payment plan. Now I only made so much money selling phones. But you know what? I said, I don't care. I need this shit done. I need you to understand that I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you with interest. And I'm going to do it in a timely fashion. Okay? So, I set up a payment plan. 75% of my take-home money went to paying off my mom's uh, burial. Got the money from her. Went out that night. Had to get my mind right. She passed. I went to see her. And was thankful. That I made that decision. 
buried my mom. Had to do it. Needed that help. Paid, paid her back ahead of time. Did whatever I had to do to make sure I paid her on time. And that was it. Years later, unbeknownst to me, she's uh, passing away. And uh, my aunt, even though we hadn't gotten along, left me a sizable uh, amount of money. And it was uh, one of those kind of, you never would have expected it. Blessing in disguise. Got me to where I am right now. Blew almost all the money, but made sure to tie up some money just in case. And committed, committed to my retirement. Committed to the security and safety and well-being financially, emotionally, and everything in between. For my family, whatever I deem my family, my family is small. My family is Michelle and my dad. And Michelle's daughters. That's it. I got other family. But they don't need me. I don't need them. And it's not in a bad way. It's just everybody makes their family. Home is where you make it, like they say. So at the end of the day, I set up my life insurance plan. Worth a million and a half dead. And I'm worth a thousand times more alive. So. Miss Michelle reached out to a stranger and didn't really reach out asking for a handout, reached out explaining her situation. And it was one of those things where you say, you know what, I think I can help. You guys did the same. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the family. I appreciate what you guys did to come together. And you know what, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming together too. I'm coming together too because I never wanted to do this. I've had people reach out. Oh, can I do this? Can I do that? I want to try a fundraise. I want to, I, I, I don't want to do it. I don't like the idea of people reaching out for fundraisers. I hate, there's no GoFundMe I'll ever approve of. It, it's never going to happen. But if somebody just said, hey, I want to build some money for me, it's hard for me to do it because you got 2,000 members in a group you can have 2,000 people asking for donations. You walk next to a homeless guy, and you give him a quarter, and there's two other homeless guys behind him. What do you think the next two are going to ask for? And I'm not saying it's the same thing, but it's what I anticipate to occur. So when it's real shit, and it's real situations, and it's one of those situations that I feel, you know what, they may not have the proper support system. Others that may have it a little bit well off or better off than others already have. So you know what? I said, you know what? I'll be the support system. I don't know how much GoFundMe uh, raised. I don't know how much money uh, they raised, needed, used, whatever. It doesn't matter. I said, I got this box of cards. I was going to set it up as a triple play. That's why the post was confusing as minimum donations. Because I said, I'll do a triple play. I want 500 bucks. I want to donate 500 bucks. But you know what? I said, fuck that. Why stop at what it's worth? I'm not breaking to sell it. I'm breaking to donate it. So let's, let's up it. We'll go to 15 spots. And if we fill enough spots, we'll go to 30. And how much money am I willing to put into it? I'm willing to put in the box. How much money on top of that? About four spots because that's what Mr. Peacock Connor would have fucking done. He would have taken four spots in the break, not even knowing who the fuck we were talking about. That's what it's about. We don't have to know each other. We live and die together every fucking day on the cross of that break. We spend our hard-earned dollars. We know it. You see the guys dropping thousands of dollars a week, hundreds of dollars a week, $50 a month. And you know what? To each and every one of them, it's the same exact fucking amount. It's not about fucking currency. It's about longevity. As I tell everybody that starts new, especially if they get out of control uh, like some of the people like Mr. Newcomb uh, when I first meet you. I don't know your budget. I don't know your money. But whether you got a million or a fucking thousand, I'm going to treat you the same way from beginning to end. If I see you doing something, even if you got the means to do it, I'm still speak up and say, hey, man, slow down. Break with a purpose. 
have a reason to do what you're doing. Otherwise, you're just blowing money. Just blowing money. Have fun. Make this hobby a hobby. Like I said, with fanatics, with everything else, you guys are in control. No matter how much money fanatics has, $18 billion is what I was told yesterday. $18 billion. I think in this hobby, we got about 18 million people that are not fanatics, that are not hobby legends, that are not fucking Steel City, that are not fucking Dave and Adams, all those fucking big wigs. We got 18 million strong. So if we put up $10 each, we got 180. Put up $100 each, we got 18 million. 18 billion. Boom, we right there. We right there. It's all about the numbers. It's all about the numbers. So we've got 1,500 fucking strong members of this hobby. Look for others that are just the same way, think the same way, act the same way, and treat this shit the same way. The guys that are going around, ah, fuck you and fuck this and fuck your cunts and fuck all those fuck, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Go, go start your own little hobby of fucking babies and bitches. But at the end of the day, this is where real people come together, at least in this room. I am so fucking happy. Because I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know how I was going to wake up. And I woke up on a couple hours. I was like, man, they probably ain't this shit. Thank you. Thank you for making me feel, believe, and truly know. Like I say a lot, what I do is not for nothing. I do this for a reason. I bring you guys together. I educate you on and off the screens. I try to point you in the right direction. Breaking is not the right direction as a collective. I don't know how much clearer to say that. It's not. It's stupid. I'm going to break till uh, Fire Pulled Breaks uh, sells out or retires or passes away. Who the fuck knows? But at the end of the day, if you're a collector, and you want to break, break with a purpose or don't break at all. That's it. But now that we covered all that shit, now that we covered all that shit and we have come together in David Peacock Connor fashion, kind of. <laughs> he don't like my shit. I don't like his shit. But you know what? We both got down and we both got down hard. So, Mr. Connor, rest in peace, sleep peacefully, and know you got friends, you got family, you got loved ones, and this bud's for you. And now, story time is over. <coughs> it is time for our break. <coughs> At the end of our break, <coughs> we are going to do a reveal. Okay? On the reveal, it is for the trivia, not the trivia, the uh, random winners. I am one of those winners. Now, there is one boom amidst that pile. If you get the boom... You will be playing, playing. You will not be getting, because Fire Puller uh, said, I'm going to open this box and throw it in, but uh, I want one card, and that is the bottom card. But if you get the boom, you will get the top four cards in that box. Fire Puller will only take the bottom card. Outside of that, everybody will have a slab or a card, and the cards are good. Now, we, uh, we got Bowman First Edition popping off. We are looking for autos. We are looking for Fuego. But, again, what we did today, I think, is very impressive. It's not some bullshit random for one card. Not some bullshit random for 100 cards that are worth, like, 
$100, and then we put this in. We took a box of cards. We spread it for triple the amount. We did not ask everybody for money. We asked those that had it to spare it. So again, when it comes down to it, you want to show support? The best support is in true words, true encouragement, true sympathy, true apathy. Money is not a way to show support. Money is a way to show consolation. But here we go. Good luck to everybody. We got some canary, I believe. So we're going to put that in the back pile. I'm going to go over the board. Then we'll take another hit after I get all these packs opened up. Uh, Mr. Bobby Brandon. Bobby Brandon. Holy shit, Brandon. Mr. Bobby Brandon. <laughs> the philanthropist can you do me a favor and I, I want you to pick a number one through ten that card number is going to be the card we start with for our uh rant our uh giveaways because we already got the order broken down but now i gotta whoop i should have cut that my bad but now i gotta put the uh stack in order based on the number you provide me so, philanthropist, give me a number. One through ten. Woo! We got some gold, and that's a big gold. Oh, boy, I saw that one. That's a big gold. Woo-wee. Well, someone's going to be happy, Mr. Connor, uh... Memorial took place. Mr. Philanthropist number four. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, sometimes the comments are delayed, so just bear with me. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault. Did I do that? All right, so one. Whoop, hold on, there's a card under there. So one, two, three, and that's four. Okay, so that is where we're going to start. Woo! We ain't going to do the reveal till later. But uh, there's a couple surprises in there. There's a couple surprises along with that boom. But we are still looking for a Rojo. We're still looking for a Rojo. We've done pretty damn good lately. We've done pretty damn good. We got, ooh, we got more numbers. Let's get that numbered stack up. We we need we we are we're overdue for a box of just like pure numbers. You know what I'm saying? This might be the box. I, I think Mr. Connor is like, you know what, if I pull it, go go rip that shit, man. Go rip that shit. He'd be hitting me up at two o'clock in the morning on a bender and he'd be like, yo, yo, if I pull it, what you got for me to uh, for me to open, man? Let's go play. Like, all right, I'll take them all. <laughs> That motherfucker came to Vegas one time. He was hopping on a helicopter. He's like, fire puller, I'll come off the helicopter if you want to come out, man. <laughs> I'm like, nah, man, go do your thing with the family. <laughs> and thank you, Michelle. Wow, more gold. More gold. Like I said, we can't we can't be there to, to lift you up physically, but hopefully mentally and emotionally we've done our part. The rest is on you. Like I said, how you look, how you carry yourself. That's what you can do for yourself and for him. And I'm sure he'd want you to be the best of every day moving forward. Well, we are almost done with uh, Edward Scissor Firehands.
We got we got a nice stack of color, but you know what? I, I'm I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I want one more uh, numbered. I want one more numbered uh, parallel. I'm, I'd like it to be Rojo. I'd like I'd like it to be Rojo. I'll accept the black, but I mean I, I'd like it to be Rojo. Ooh. All right, we're doing good. We only got we only got a short stack of the uh, non-numbered or non-parallels. Come on. Come on, is it? Oh, it's sky blue. We got we got a good a good turnout, ladies and gentlemen. We just did not get any rojo. But here we go, in customary fire puller fashion, and in honor of Mr. David Peacock Connor. We're gonna light this fire now, and hopefully it never burns out. So from my house to your house to Michelle, this bud's for you. And here we go. Do see do. And we actually, you know what? We're gonna take a little uh, TV intermission, and uh, we're gonna repack the bong because uh, we forgot to do the board, and uh, we can't we can't uh, do the board and and then not smoke again. So uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's repack it. It's get fucked up with the fire puller Saturday. But now it's get fucked up with the fire puller and Mr. Peacock Connor Saturday. You know, hey, fuck these clips, man. You know, hey, let's do it right. Let's do it right. I mean, I got I got Cheetah, I got Chaos, and I got Squirt. Now, normally I'd say uh, Mr. Peacock would be uh, Chaos, but uh, actually Squirt actually makes more sense. So I think if he had the choice, he'd go with Squirt. That's the one we're going to go with right now. And not only does Squirt have the coolest name, it is actually the best of the shit I got on hand. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a double whammy for the fire puller. We're going to get fucked up. And just, uh, you guys want to see this? This, 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 this is that pretty shit. Hey, you know, whoa, 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 hold on. There we go. Ooh, that shit's pretty. So uh, this, this is a squirt, and, and, and uh, the fire puller may not make it to the end of the break, but you know what? At least he's going to try his damnedest. And uh, we're going to have some fun. And uh, at the halfway point, uh, you know what? We'll do the reveal, and then uh, we'll finish off with the fireworks. So the halfway point is after we get through the sky blue. Then we'll do the reveal, and then we will do our gold and better. But I think we are nicely packed. All right, let's do it. That's right. You got to go for the good shit. I mean, I, I was, I was going to smoke the clips, and I was like, well, what are you doing, fire puller? That's fucked up. If you're going to smoke the clips, you better put a lot of that Keith shit in there. So, you know what? That's what we're going to do. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. All right, so now uh, we, 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 we're doing an experiment. I mean, let's, let's see the limits of the fire puller. I mean, this is this is my green goddess, and then uh, under my green goddess is uh, a lot of shit. Now, a fire puller should probably do this closer to his face. Hold on one second before we uh, drop a lot of shit. But uh, we got we got one of our little blades, and then uh, this is how we uh, scrape the shit, and then uh, we do the damn thing and uh, make the bitches sing. And then uh, here we go. Uh, do see do so uh, let me move this out of the way. This is our little mountain of stash. So, uh, Mr. David Peacock Connor, we gonna take a little dab of that. Uh, now, this, this, this is not, this is dangerous, so do not try this at home. I, I promise you, you will not like the after effects of uh, doing shit like this. Hold on one second, because we, we kind of in the way with all these damn cards. Who the fuck cares about cards when you got weed? And you can do this for your boy. So now we're going to take a nice little scoop right there. And then, uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's probably going to hurt. But uh, who the fuck cares? And we're going to put it there. And uh, that's, 
That's what we're going to do. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is dangerous, so do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. This is, uh, this is not uh, very safe, and uh, I do not recommend it to uh, even potheads. Because uh, that, that shit is, uh, it'll make you see stars sometimes. But uh, you know what? Uh, let's, 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 let's go. Let's go fly a kite. For Mr. Connor, man, the things we do for love. The things we do for love. The things we do for love. This bud's for you, baby. Almost, almost. I tried, I tried, I tried to hold it in. I was like, no. But you know what? I held in most of it, so now at least most of that shit is like dripping. And there we are. So now, now that that shit's uh, doing the damn thing, let's go over the board so I can take one more hit before that shit goes out. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Holy shit. So here we go, uh, do si do uh, You know, uh, Mr. Mishmash, I was taking a bath. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we like that shit, and then, uh, wait, 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 where's our board, Fire Puller? The fuck you doing, man? Oh, there we go, okay, so here we go. So, uh, this is what we got, uh, ah, fuck, that's not the right one. God damn it. Hold on one second. Just so I don't fuck myself up. But there we go. So this is our board, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Firepool has got the D-Bags, the Mutts. And then we got Mr. Hugh. He's got the Nationals. Then I've got the Twins. BJ's got the uh, Rays. Mr. Cat, he's got the Rockies. Big Licks got the Dodgers. Mr. Casey's got the Braves. Hunky Brewster's got the P-Rats. Uh, Mr. PSA, damn, got the Red Cox and the Gigantus. Uh, Miss Lisa's got the Athletics. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Smith, if that is your real name. He's got the Engines. Then uh, Mr. Rice Burner got the Marlins. Uh, Mr. Colmar, he's got the Padrinos. And Mr. Wright, he's got the Rangers. Good hit. Twin of Winners got the Angels and the Brew Crew. Mr. Marcelo got the BJs. Holy shit. BJ's got the White Cox, Orioles, and the Reds. Then we got Mr. Rice Burner with the Cardinals. Then we got Mr. Cochran with the Royals, Astros, Daddy Yankee, and the Cubbies. Then uh, Mr. Bross, man, he's got the Mariners and the Tiggers. And Mr. Dwight Shannon, Geraldo, Geraldo, Miguel Smith has got the Phillies. And that, my friends, is your board for the David Peacock Connor Memorial Break. And in customary, get fucked up with Mr. Peacock Connor and the Fire Puller Saturday fashion. We gonna light this fire one more time, and we know it ain't going out. So from my house to your house, this buds for you. Boom! And here we go. That's right, Mister Mister Ramos. Light that shit up, baby. Who? <coughs> 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 All right, let, I gotta look at that board again. Hey, what happened? <coughs> All right, so here's our board. Let's get down and dirty. This way, we know who to congratulate. Now, the five put. Is gonna have to hit the chaser right now, cause uh, I don't know if you know uh, if I mentioned that shit, but uh, that that key shit is uh, pretty strong and might fuck you up, and uh, don't do that shit at home. Uh, yeah, so here I am, dreaming that I'm actually doing a break, and I'm not really doing a break. It's just a dream. I gotta pinch myself. Oh no, it is for real. Holy shit! Here we go. Good luck to everybody. Let's get it started with the dead stack. We've got Mr. Andrew Vaughn. Bobby Witt is the shit. Daniel Espino, Emerson Hadcock, Jeter had downs, Fruity Nova, J.J. Bladay, Seth had a beer, C.J. Chatham, Taylor Trammell, 
Colton Welker, Ishmael Mania, Mickable, Matt Manning, Jeremy Penga, Brandon Marsh, Eddie Diaz, Anthony Volpe, Mario Feliciano, Duran Duran, J-Rod, Nick Allen, and we got some Jose Tenya Blomi, Junior Severino, Justin Fosk, Wander Baby, Louis Garcia, Josh Young, Reed Detmers, Mackenzie Gorehead, Terran Vavra, Jordan Blulovich, Marco Luciano, Vidal Bruhan, Tyler Callahan, Logan Gilbert, Just Blaze. And we got G-Rod, Libertori, Brett Batty, Adenso Reyes, Mr. Veen, Mr. Veen, Layover, Peguero, Bryson Stott, Trevor Larnick, Andrew Dahlquist, Bryce Tarangutan, Asa Basie, Nikki G, Byron Laura. And closing out our dead stack, we've got George Kirby, Aaron Saturday in the park. Freddie Z, Oswald Peraza, Duddy Yankee, Mr. Alcantara, no longer a Yankee. Bo Naylor, ass down, Josiah Gray, K-Rob Jelly, Casey Martin, Brennan Davis, Ivan the Terrible Johnson, Max Meyer, Bryson Stott, Brandon Marsh, James Had a Beard, Drew Waters, K-Rob Jelly, Austin Hendick, Jackson Rutledge, C.J. Chatham, Cody Had Some Hoes, Jared Kellenick, J.J. Blade, Duddy Yankee, Mr. Martian, Garrett Mitchell, Duddy Yankee, no longer a Yankee, Alcantara, Louis Garcia, Brett Batty, Matthew Libertori, Bobby Witt is the shit. Duddy Yankee, Oswald Peraza, Fruity Nova, Bryce Jarvis, Jordan Adams, Kibbles and Bitsko, Jordan Walker, Ryan Velotti Dottie, Dax Fulton, PCA, and Francisco Alvarez. And now, on to our show. That was like the undercard. Now it's the main event. And here we go. Good luck to everybody. We're going to stack up one, and then we're going to pile them up. We got Kaoni Cavaco, C.J. Abrams, Austin Wells, Nick York, Logan Gilbert, Hunter Green, Austin Hendick, Logan Davidson, J-Rod, and going to the D-Bags, my man K-Rob Jelly. Boom. Well, thank you, sir. I hope he did good, man. One of my buddies hit a, uh, forget what it was, but out of 10, auto of somebody. Nice card. At a, a prestige. I don't think it was Trevor Lawrence. It was uh, Cam. Is there a Cam or something? I don't know. I don't know the guy's names, but I believe it was the other quarterback like cam something but asa basey alec thomas tyler callahan pca matthew thompson geraldo perdomo yolbert sanchez Yo Choi, taylor trammell and going to the mutts big hit right there francisco alvarez boom then we got daniel lynch patrick bailey seth beer mario feliciano simeon woods uh, Drew Homo, Ace Basie, Casey Martin, Colton Welker, to the Cardinals. A little Libby. Boom. Zach, what? No, fuck. I don't know who it was. I'll have to, I'll let you know once I see the uh, message again. But Ivan Johnson, it was a good card out of 10. Jordan Belazovic, Jeter Downs, Maximo Acosta. Nice hit for the Rangers. And we got uh, Carson Tucker, Jake Vogel, and Gabriel Arias. And behind that, oh, to the row host, a little Austin Hendrick, Jordan Walker, Mr. Veen, Mr. Veen, Justin Fosk, Francisco Alvarez, Nikki G, Edward Cabrera, J.J. Blade, Josiah Gray, Drew Homo, and going to the Phillies. Mr. Mickable, nice hit, Mr. Dwight Shannon, Geraldo Geronimo, Miguel Smith. And behind that, we got Libby, Ishmael Mania, Gabriel Arias again, Freddie Z, Nolan Jones, Jackson Rutledge, Cody Had Some Hoes, Nolan Gorman, Maximo Acosta, Duddy Yankee, Mr. Martian, Duddy Yankee, Mr. Gomez, Justin Fosk, Bryson Stott, Alec Thomas, Trent DeVoe, Nick Allen, 
Robert Passan, Daddy Yankee, no longer a Yankee, Alcantara. Jared Kelly and going to the Tiggers. Riley Green. And we got you, Neil Diaz, Daddy Yankee, not a Yankee. <laughs> Alcantara Groshans, Drew Waters, Drew, Drew Waters. Jordan Adams, Jason Rosario, Ed Howard, Gina Rad Downs, Matt Manning, and going to the Hull Reels. A little you, Neil Diaz. Boom. I got you like three base beans. And I don't know why the fuck I sleeve this shit, but we'll sleeve the rest at the end. And then uh, continuing on, continuing on. Where's, where's that little chaser? Hold on. And here we go. We got uh, Mr. Heston Kerstad, Patrick Bailey, Anthony Volpe, Bobby Witt is the shit. Tyler Freeman, Bryce Tarangatang, Blake Walston, Jared Kelly, Kate Cavalli, and going to the Brew Crew, Mr. Garrett Mitchell. Boom. Nice hit right there. Xavier Edwards, Ronnie Mauricio, Nick Allen, Nick Matone, sing me a song. Josh Young, Aaron Saturday in the park. Dax Fulton, O'Neill Cruz, Dirk Diggler, and going to the Dodgers. Got some. Yeah, he'll try. Garrett Mitchell, Bryson Stott, Mario Feliciano, another Just Blaze. And we got uh, Jeremy Panga, Yelbert Sanchez, Shane Baz, Brandon Marsh, going to the Red Cox, a little Nicky York, Simeon Woods Richardson. Here we go with our reveal before we get to the fire. Our reveal. Let me pull up our board. All right, so that's not what I wanted. There it is. Okay, so this is our order. We got Mr. Kalmeyer, Mr. Rice, Mr. Shroop, Mr. Masmanian times two, Mr. Myers, then Miss Lisa, then Hugh, then myself, and then Mr. PSA. And that is our order for our reveal. Uh, give me one second to kind of move some of this shit around. And we'll get to that, and then we'll get to sleeving. But here we go with uh, Mr. Kalmeyer. You are our first card of the ball game. You are going to get a little Louis Robert PSA 9. Got a couple of these out there. No, we already moved the cards. We moved the cards in the beginning. We are right on track, my friend. But thank you. Like I said, whenever you want to take over my job, man, I, I definitely need a day off. But number two. Number two, a little Jared Kellenick, PSA 9, 2019, Leaf Trinity. That is going to go to Mr. Rice Burner. Boom. Then we got number three going to Dwight Shannon, Geraldo, Geraldo, Mo, Miguel Smith. You are going to get the boom, my friend. It's going to be me and you. Me and you on that box. And then behind uh, Mr. Dwight, we've got Mr. BJ. Mr. BJ, you are going to take home Brennan Davis, PSA 9. And then you are going to get the next one as well. And that is going to be another Brennan Davis. You got two of them. And behind that, we got Mr. Big Lick. Big Lick, you are going to take home the last Brennan Davis. Yeah, 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 whatever, motherfucker. You just go into your little FPHC uh, fucking treehouse and uh, go fuck yourself. Boom. But uh, then, 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 oh, that was uh, Miss BJ, Miss BJ. We are back to, uh, did we do Big Lick? Uh, yeah, I fucked that one up. That was Big Lick. Almost fucked that one up. But we, we back now. We back. We all right. All right, so uh, behind that, uh, we got Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa, you are going to get one of my favorite cards. I just wish he would fucking turn shit around. But out of 75, Victor Robles. Boom. Hey. 
And then behind Miss Lisa, we've got Mr. Hugh. Mr. Hugh, you are going to get uh, Louis Robert. And behind Mr. Hugh, we got the fire puller, which, oh, I get to keep it. I get to keep it, Will Benson, eBay 101. And number 10, we've got Mr. PSA. Mr. PSA, you're going to get yourself a PSA 9, Louis Robert. And that is our reveal, and it is time for the Fuego. It is time for the Fuego. Here we go. Good luck to you guys. We've got Bryce Jarvis, Trent DeVoe, Ivan the Terrible Johnson, Alec Manoa, Adinso Reyes, G-Rod, Robert Hassel, Nick Lofton, and out of 150, going to the Angels, a little Jordan Adams. Boom. And, uh, you know, we're we going to make you guys wait a little bit longer. We're going to sleeve up some cards now. We're going we gonna to take this time to uh, reflect on this break and uh, hope and pray to the card gods that uh, they, they will be generous with uh, what they're going to bring to the table uh, right about now for all of us. So uh, we know we got at least uh, one gold. It may have been two golds. Uh, I know I got a canary in there, too. But, you know, the fire puller is all fucked up. So uh, we are looking to take one more trip to the torch, at least. So I, I need I need something worth worthwhile, uh, definitely uh, 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 torch, fucking worthy. You know what I'm saying? The hurricane. What fucking hurricane? What hurricane is coming? I didn't even know there was a hurricane going on. I live in Vegas, man. It's always fucking sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> in New York that sucks man where is it hitting like all of New York or like certain parts Definitely be safe and fucking secure everything you can. But here we go. We are sleeved up. We are ready for the Fuego. And I think I'm over here. Yeah, I'm over here. Maybe I'm over there. I don't know what's going on, Fireball. Oh, no, that looks, uh, that, that looks gold, too. So, you know what? We're probably over here. So, we're going to go over here. We got C.J. Chatham, Spencer Torkelson, Tyler Soderstrom, Byron Laura, Fruity Nova, Nick Lodolo, Carson Tucker, Mackenzie Gore, our Canary going to the Tigers. It's my man's in them. Again, so Reyes. Boom. You know what's even better than that? I'll give it a 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they be in waterproof bags and everything. Nice hit to the Tigers. Continuing on. Kibbles and Bitsko, Brandon Marsh, Jordan Groshans, Josiah Gray, George Kirby, Bobby Miller. And closing us out. We'll sleeve him at the end. Braden Shoemake. Spencer Torkelson, Mr. Veen, Mr. Veen, going to the engines. Gabriel Arias, big boom, right there. And uh, I think it's a 10. Boom. Then we got uh, Lewis Montero, Andrew Vaughn, Daniel Lynch, Emerson Hadcock, Corbin Carroll, 
Jose Tenya blow me. Seth had a beer. Another just blaze. Marco Luciano. We got Matt Libby and going to the twinkles. Aaron Saturday in the park. I think it was a 4th of July. And this, unfortunately, will not be a 10 because uh, right up top they uh, kind of bit it a little bit. But you know what? Duran Duran to end it and say hello, Mr. Matt Cat. Uh, have you forgotten about me? I missed you severely. And I uh, know that, that my friends is going to do it for the break. Big old boom at the end. Mr. Arius Adenso Reyes and Saturday all at the end. Beautiful golds. That is that is a big three right there. That is a big three. And uh, here we go. do si do What do we got? Uh, let's see who we are congratulating on the engines. That is Mr. Steve Smith, if that is your real name, and the Tigers... Tigers with Mr. Brossman. Very nice hits right there. And yes, it is. So here's our little recap that Mr. Me and Dwight Shannon, Geraldo, Geronimo, Miguel Smith will uh, get to see what's in uh, the red, white, and blue. But uh, Mr. Denso Reyes, Gabriel Arias out of 50, uh, Saturday out of 50, then Sky Blue, Nick York, Hyun Hill Choi, uh, Garrett Mitchell, Riley Green, Daddy Yankee, Mr. Martian, Mickable, Austin Hendrick, Matt Libertori, Francisco Alvarez, Blue, uh, Jordan Adams, K. Rob Jelly, and Uniel Diaz. And then we've got our box. Mr. Connor, this one's for you, baby. So I am taking the bottom card. Mr. Dwight Shannon, Geraldo, Geronimo, Miguel Smith will have the other cards. And uh, we're just going to see uh, what the fuck happens. Because, you know, the fire puller hates staring at shit where he's like, man, I just want one of those fucking Trey, Le Trevor, Trey, whatever, Trevor Lawrence, Le Le whatever the fucking names are. I just want one of those motherfuckers. I'm not being greedy. But uh, let's uh, do the damn thing and uh, make it sing. So here we go. Mr. Dwight, your first card up. I hope these guys can help you because I sure as hell can't. We got Amari Rogers. Amari Rogers. And you know the fire bullet decided uh, it's time to... Uh... Ooh, we might have to use... Nope, these aren't going to be good sleeves. Uh, come on, fire puller. There we go. But I, I think I think I'm fucked up right now. I think that is the consensus. But here we go. First card up, Mr. Dwight, Amari uh, Rogers out of ten. Uh, hopefully he's like the next uh, good guy. And then uh, let's see what else we got over here. Hold on one second. Next card up. Oh, uh, that's what I was looking for. A blocker. Uh, we are going to block this next card. But we got Amon Ra. Amon Ra St. Brown. Amon Ra St. Brown. Yeah, you know, that's a great idea. I mean, at the end of the day. But uh, we got to have a reason to take. Oh, actually, we do have a reason to take a trip to the torch. So we will take at least one more hit after uh, this uh, for Mr. Mr. Peacock Connor. And then uh, next up, we got uh, Brady White. Uh, he looks like he's tossing a ball, so he might be a quarterback. But Brady White, nice hit to uh, Mr. Dwight, uh, I think. Brady White. Oh, this is numbered out of 10 as well. Uh, we, need, we, we need some low low. No, I should check that other one because I don't th even think I checked. You know, the fire pole is a little fucked up. Uh, we got 9 out of 10. That was out of 10. And then this one... Oh, this was out of five. eBay 101, Amon Ross St. Brown out of five. So my bad, I missed that shit. But then uh, the next card up, uh, we got some special shit. We got some special shit. It's Ben Skowronik. Ben Skowronik. That's got to be like low, low two out of three. 
Oh, it's a four out of four. You know, I was close. Four out of four. Uh, ben Skronik. Or Skronik. Boom. And uh, the last card of the ball game, I think. Yes, sir. It is going to the fire pillar. It is going to be Mr. Trey Sermon. Mr. Trey told a sermon. I don't think that's really good. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Trey Sermon. This is uh, eBay 101 as well. This is number five out of five. Five out of five. Well, I know they're all out of 10 or less, but I didn't know what they were numbered. So there we go. Uh, do -si do And uh, here we go in customary fire puller with Mr. Peacock kind of fashion. Rest in peace, brother. From my house to your house for the family. This bud's for you. Boom. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. I thank you guys for participating, watching, and enjoying the show. Yankees, the best team to ever do it. Derek Jeter, the best player to ever play it. And the fire puller himself, best breaker to ever break it. Peace and love. See you soon.